Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. In this short video, we're going to be taking another look on the uh, S Barn Vorlberg route. This time, taking a drive with the Vectron. Um, we've got a Creators Club livery on this one. We've got an OBB livery uh, rather than going with the rail pool um, that it comes with. Just a little bit of something else to zhuzh it up a bit. Um, we did actually do a stream with a random livery. It was a Flix train one. We obviously didn't really, shouldn't, wouldn't run this area, but it looked quite cool, so we went with it. Um, so. I think it's about a quarter of an hour drive. We're just taking a drive uh, between wherever we are. So it's a it's a Corn West time to Wolfert Yard working. We're just waiting to take the single line section. So we're going to key in, cut the brakes in, into forward. And that is pretty much us. But I'm going to also put the um, RFB. RFB on. RFB. RFB. So... We are 60 kph. So when you set your um, speed up with R and F, you can do it by mouse or whatever your controller. You have to confirm. So I'm come on the PC. It's Shift and F. That confirms. And you'll see on there that little yellow dot is where we are targeted for. If you change it, you can see there's a little, a little flashing dot up here, which where you're moving to. Every time you move, you must, you must confirm or it's not going to work. Now, I've not got all the safety systems on this because I haven't played them all yet. But I'm just going to put on what I know. Hopefully we'll start moving. <laughs> there we go. It's quite a heavy train. Waiting for the brakes to bleed off. It's really, really long as this. So, uh, Wolfert Yard number two. Two dash oh five. I'm assuming it's Wolfert, Wolfert Yard two road five, maybe. Another one yard out of it. Um, so yeah, we're, we're on this sort of little short stub of the route, which um, we actually showed on our first go of the route on the stream. So we haven't just featured this on the sh on the videos yet. We're going to drive this and just drive to there. So it's only a, it's like sort of a little, little section of the route, but again, it's just another little feature for the, um, doing the route really. We do quite a lengthy drive on on the stream with the Vectron this evening, just for me recording this video. Um, really enjoyed the drive to be honest. Um, to be honest, it's, it's got lovely sound. It feels really, really good. It, it, it sounds good. It feels good. So I say, um, we've done a really nice job. You can tell they put some effort into this. It feels pretty, um, pretty well in depth. Um, pretty advanced. Got a few different horns as well. So space, the high, low, and you can also do a control and space. I think it is. There you go. Just another horn. A little bits and pieces you can do in there. Is that different voltages for different countries. Different signals and stuff that lights. So if you turn it back off, throttle off, and then just click it again, it'll come on. You'll have to confirm your speed set, but if you if you crypt over, it'll slow itself down. Basically, AFB is a um, cruise control system. <clears throat> if you obviously want to lower your speed by changing the cruise control setting, control it, and it'll actually slow it down for you. So we are actually 100 on this section now, so we can actually go up. Confirm it and it'll, uh, it'll do the work for you.
He's a stunning loco, though. Too. Some nice liveries as well on the creators club. Some really nice stuff. Definitely worth a look. I believe there's a rail tough this as well on just a reason. No doubt I'll have a go off at some point. So you're not too far from the main, so there's a triangle junction. We're going to go to the right. It's a quite cool, um, tall retaining wall, isn't it? Sandproofing wall. Still don't like going um, shift and uh, shift and space only because it, it spams the horn. <clears throat> Probably get a better shot when it goes around the curve. To be fair, because the uh, the sun's behind us, we're going to turn sort of towards the sun, so we should get a nice shot. So we've got speed drops going. So I'm just going to this down to 80 and confirm it. It should start slowing down um, our train. Quite nice. It should have us at 80, just in well, well, good time to be fair. Well, the 60 does come in quite soon after, so we'll probably have some more braking in a minute. But just taking ourselves to where we need to be. There is a red signal as well, so we could be held. Take it down a little bit at a time. So this is the soundproof wall that I'm on about. And the line then splits. Looks like they've got it set maybe for potential um, two-track use. The wiring looks a bit weird though. The way it sort of just ends. Some manual braking here. Just because I don't trust it to stop for me. <laughs> it probably would do if I got it right. I'll argue it myself just this bit. So the sun's coming in the nice, nice still on the front sort of now. Get that screenshot. I feel like we're going to be held for a, um, a stopping service. I can hear it now, it's coming to the station. Time nicely. These do work passenger stuff as I said before. You can see they've got the jumpers on the, uh, on the front there. Uh, uh, the cables for the coach. And there is a, a working on Dresden Reason that I was told about earlier. So to get this train, uh, it comes in with the deluxe special editions, I believe. Um, it doesn't come with standard, it's like the Flying Scotsman. <clears throat> so, if you look in the link on the description, you'll see what packages come with which trains and routes and stuff. Um, do take a look. And currently, um, at the time of this video going out, um, that offer will have ended. Um, I'm making sure I get this right, so it, the 10% will have gone. 
by this point. This video is going to go out after the 10%, so the Trains Wolf 4 actually will be out. It won't be early access at this point, uh, being live. But whilst recording this video, it's in that early access, so just getting that out there. New. Nice. <laughs> Good timing. I've got a screenshot, but the issue is there's not enough sun on the front of the uh, cap of my life. And although, to be fair, the sun is there, so. Unless we're going to. Turn. I don't think we are. Yeah, it should open up at the yard anyway, so I'll get a screenshot. If not, I'll just load it up somewhere else and get a decent screenshot. Yep. Yeah. We have to do any detaching. We do. We're going to detach and do basically what I did on the stream, so we detach and then go unstable, so it's all good. Too long. Not too sure how big the uh, the section is here between those and the other train. Oh, oh, there we go, as he says it. Just uh, cleared. Love the initial hum. When it gets going. Horns there. Nice detail, top of the Really nice. Very powerful old color. Doesn't mess about getting up to speed. They're not overly far from the yard, it's literally just up here and around the bend. Once we get uh, clear of the yard, we should be able to match. I say that we're not going to be doing much really, quickly, but <laughs> we are approaching the yard, so we're not. Be, we're going to be actually lowering our speed in a second. So Into 40. Oh, I came into this yard the other, from the other direction before, but my god, it's fast. And there was no messing about. It was like 15 to 6 yards. Like, wow. I'm going to uh, go off the track. Like I know in Wilson mode. Wow. These blue wagons on the left are the ones that came with the veteran as well, I think. I feel like they are. I don't know if I've seen them anywhere else, but I think they may have come with it. So we're going to stop in this uh, line here, and then we'll do uh, the detachment, and then we'll go and stay with the loco. Which I think quite nice actually in the uh, service mode. Rather than just here to there, and that's it. You've actually got here to there, uncouple and go to there, which is quite nice. It gives you a little bit more something to do. As far as I'm aware, everything sort of works around this yard. It's a busy yard as well as all sorts going on there. How busy that is. A nice looking yard. Actually got lots of stuff in it. Do 
Can't argue with that. room for another loud cock to get on there. I'm going to turn that off. RFB. RFB. So stable the loco. Uh, do we have a holding brake? Release, release, release. Okay. I'm not sure he's got a parking brake. I don't know where the parking brake is on these. Must be a parking brake somewhere. Not a clue. Got door buttons there. Doing the passenger service, you've got your door buttons. Brake release. No, no clue. There must be a parking brake somewhere, but I'm not really sure. It's in there. Well, that's classed as the parking brake. We'll uh, use that for a minute. Okay. Oh, we're just going there. Don't think we are staying with this one. Easy enough. Made a mess of that though, really. So it, it takes off like hell. Just gotta be careful, <laughs> like me, flying around. We're not there. You pig. Not quite on it, just slightly off. Just a little bit. I'll do it. There we go. We're there. Easy. Easy as that. I've got a platinum, even though I don't have all the safety systems on. Easy stuff. Well, let's just uh, go back into it. Uh, back to free roam. Let us just take all that off. So a quick look around the loco before we uh, close things up. No, it's really, really nice and detailed. Lovely model. Uh, I'd say this livery that I'm driving with is a creative club model. I mean, it's not exactly perfect, but it's um, nice. Does the job. You can see some other examples I've got over there. Look, back how I parked up earlier. I wonder if that's actually remembered my um, driving earlier, where I left the trains. Because that is actually how they were parked up in them liveries. So maybe it has. Interesting. Didn't know it did that. Yeah, good. I'll just take you for a quick look at the uh, the Flix train one and the rail pool that comes with um, on the base game before finishing up. Might as well show you them. So the green Flix train is the livery of Creators Club. The rail pool is what the train actually comes with um, as standard in the game. There's a good number of liveries um, to download. Look all really, really nice. But I, my my favourite is actually I like that. It's just so striking. It does look nice. It's a nice colour. 
185, I believe, comes, I think, on the route as well. On this route. So that is the livery that comes with the game. In the real cool livery there. Very nice it is too. We'll end up driving with that at some point. I just felt like doing something totally different today. Yeah, excellent stuff. I shall leave it with the lineup of there. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Again, another, another short video, but uh, we're trying to get as many of these in as possible. We don't want to keep doing hour long videos to try and feature things, so we're just trying to do it in bite sized chunks for you at home. Um, thanks for watching, as always, and don't forget, Trace Will 4 is obviously out now. Um, same link as the description has been for the pre-orders. It's just that the pre-order discount has now ended. Um, it is now at full price, but definitely worth taking a look at. Um, no less. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit your notification bell for future videos. No Twitch streams um, currently the week up until the four uh, until after the fourth of October. I'm currently actually on holiday while this video goes out. I'm in Tenerife. <laughs> These have all been pre-recorded before I go away. But um, thanks for watching anyway. Um, Again, we'll be back in very soon for another video. Don't uh, don't forget to keep your eye out for them. And until then, thanks for watching and bye for now.